Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from filmlinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new after effects tutorial in this tutorial we are going to create particle logo animation without using any third party plugin so let's see what we will create today This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a free website for online video creators. You will find here tons of free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, video templates and lots more. All assets are 100% copyright free and no attributes and sign up required to use or download Mixkit asset. Click the link in the description box to visit Mixkit and download your free asset today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. Let's call it main animation. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok. Ok now import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Now select your logo and place it into this timeline. Make it bigger something like this. And you can use text as well. Now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo. Then click on ok. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for cc ball action. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on shatter and amount set it uh, 27 and then go to around 2 second trend frames and then amount set it 0. Now go to around 10 frames and then go to our CC ball action and set a keyframe on twist angle and set it 190 then go to around 2 second 10 frames and then uh, twist angle set it 0 now select this layer then press U now select all keyframes then press F9 now select these two keyframes then open graph editor and then change the graph curve now select this two keyframe and open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like that looks good to me okay now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on ball size and set it one and then go to around one seconds and ball size set it uh, maybe 24 then go forward few frames then make it uh, 23 then go to around 2 seconds and size set it uh, 59 looks good to me now again go to beginning of this animation uh, then set a keyframe on instability state and then set it uh, minus 29 then go to around um, 2 second 20 frames and then set it 38 degree looks good to me Okay, now go to effect and preset window and search for um, exposure. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Okay, now uh, go to around 1 second 10 frames. Then set a keyframe on exposure. Then go to around 2 second 10 frames. And exposure amount set it uh, 4.10. Perfect. 
okay now select this layer then press ctrl plus d now select this uh, bottom layer and then uh, press u now select this uh, two keyframe now move it forward something like that and then simply change the amount uh, shutter amount to 197 and then uh, select this second keyframe and move it something around here and change the value as well change the value to maybe 660 okay now ball size delete this first keyframe now go to first keyframe and set it 9 then delete this middle keyframe and then go to around um, 1 second 20 frames then select this keyframe and drag it here and then change the ball size amount to 20 and simply select this uh, instability state last keyframe and drag it here and and delete this exposure effect okay now press t on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity then go to around uh, 4 second uh, 8 frames and opacity value set it 0 Just the keyframe a little bit something around here looks good okay now select this first um, layer then press T then go to around two seconds then opacity value set a keyframe on opacity then go to around two second 10 frames and opacity value set to zero looks good to me okay now create a adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer and adjustment layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for uh, cc force motion blur now select this effect and apply onto this um, adjustment layer and motion blur sample set it 8 now add glow now select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and glow radius set it to 65 maybe looks good okay now create a camera so right click new then click on camera then uh, click on ok now press p then set a keyframe on position then uh, decrease the amount something like this now go to around 1 second and 15 frames then uh, increase the amount Then go forward few frames and increase the amount little bit now select all keyframes then press F9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like that
Okay, he looks good to me. Okay, now create a go to project window and create a new composition. Let's call it reflection. And then click on OK. Okay, now select our logo comp, then place it into this timeline, and then select our reflection map, then place it into this timeline. Okay, now uh, select this layer and place it below the logo layer. And then simply change the layer trap mat to uh, alpha mat and then go to effect and preset window and search for CC glass. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Now go to surface, then bump map, set it logo, and softness, set it uh, 50, and height, set it uh, maybe 100, and displacement, set it minus 160. Go to light, then light type, set it point light, and uh, light height set it 100 now go to effect and preset window and search for cc blobby lies now select this effect and apply onto this layer then go to blobbiness then blob layer set it logo and softness set it uh, maybe 15 and cut away set it uh, maybe 45 okay looks good to me now go to uh, project window and select our logo comb again then place it into this timeline now select this reflection map then change the layer mode to screen perfect now go to around three seconds then press t then set a keyframe on opacity then go forward few frames and then opacity value set it zero now go to main animation now select this reflection comp layer and place it into this timeline then make this layer 3d now select this layer and move it forward one second okay now go to around two seconds then press t then set a keyframe on opacity then set it zero now go for about 10 seconds and opacity value set it 100 okay now let's ramp it with it looks good to me okay so uh, now create a text layer so right click new then click on text and i type in editors.com now make it center and make this layer 3d as well now reposition it Now select this layer, then press T, then set a keyframe on opacity and set it 0 and go few frames forward, then set it 100, then select this to keyframe, then press F9. Okay, looks good to me. Now select this camera lens pair layer, then place it into this timeline. Change this layer mode to screen. Now split this layer, and delete, and change the position something around here. Our animation is complete. Ramp preview this
thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day and i will see you in the next video till then peace out